Good evening, everybody. My name is Andy Rainier. I am a seminarian for the Archdiocese of St. Paul, Minneapolis, in my second year of formation, Pre-Theology I, after having the privilege of participating in the propedeutic year last year here at the St. Paul Seminary. I grew up in a devout Catholic family in Plymouth, Minnesota. My parents, Betsy, Mike, are right over here, uh, attending Catholic elementary, middle, and high school. And I, I was invo involved in Boy Scouts. Uh, I eventually became an Eagle Scout, ran and skied cross country through high school, and loved to sing in the choir. At my home parish, Holy Name of Jesus in Wyzetta, Minnesota, during middle and high school, weekly I was involved in Life Teen, the Life Teen program there. Sunday night youth group, two to three retreats a year, mission trips to Mexico and North Minneapolis, Minneapolis which, with, with which I took full advantage. After graduation from my high school, Benel St. Margaret's in 2014, I moved on to attend the College of St. Benedict, St. John's University. Go Johnnies. <laughs> there I ended up receiving my bachelor's degree in accounting with a minor in theology in 2018. At St. John's, I was heavily involved with the Fellowship of Catholic University Students, FOCUS, singing in the St. John's Men's Chorus an active instructor in the ballroom dance club, and skiing on the cross-country team. Following college graduation, I began a career in public accounting with Grant Thornton's audit practice downtown Minneapolis. There I earned my license as a certified public accountant and continued practice until the fall of 2021. Growing up, I was never hit with a lightning bolt as to whether or not I heard God call me to the priesthood. My story is much more subtle, hidden, and gentle. As a young lad, I enjoyed hearing stories about my dad's two years of seminary experience at St. John Vianney College Seminary here at the University of St. Thomas. People at my home parish and in high school would say, always say to me, Andy, you would make a wonderful priest. Have you ever thought of the priesthood? My, my faith continued to grow at my home parish and finally, when faced with a college decision between St. Thomas and St. John's back in 2014, basically the decision between seminary or no seminary, my desire for seminary was absent at the time. I chose to go to St. John's, where God deepened my faith even more through my participation and focus. I met my best friends, great rooted Catholic men, and God showed me the beauty of brotherhood with them and the need for a faithful life of prayer. Now fast forward, it wasn't really until the middle of my third year at Grant Thornton, almost three years out of college, where I noticed my desire to spend time in the Adoration Chapel increase greatly amidst competing responsibilities in the public accounting world. It was in spending more time with Jesus in the Adoration Chapel that I heard my call to seminary. In the spring of 2021, I met with Father David Bloom, vocations director in the, in the Archdiocese here at St. Paul, Minneapolis. It was in meeting him where, for the first time, I poured myself out to someone about everything going on in my heart, good and bad. In our conversation, I was filled with anxiety that I was dodging my responsibilities at work to be with Jesus more and thinking all the more that none of what I said made sense to him. However, when all was said, I will never forget the peace my heart felt after the Holy Spirit spoke these words through Father Bloom that day to me. Andy, I do not get the sense you are running away from work responsibilities. I get the sense that you are being drawn to something more. While juggling three different financial statement audits with deadlines quickly approaching, I increasingly found myself sitting in adoration more and more to spend time with Jesus. I noticed my heart yearning for this space and time apart from the noise of the world. It was at the end of our meeting that Father Bloom introduced me to the propedeutic year. 
This was exactly what my heart was longing for. A year set aside, just me and Jesus. In the propedeutic year, we were affectionately called the propedudes, <laughs> led by our priest formator and director, Father John Floater, who we affectionately called our propedad. <laughs> there were two main graces from this past year. The first, Jesus revealed to me many areas in my heart that I was falsely staking my identity in. Andy, the certified public accountant, the cross-country skier, the singer, and so on and so forth. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, I became aware that my true identity is not rooted in what I do, but rather firmly planted in a relationship with my Heavenly Father who calls me son. The second, I wrestled a lot with this question. How could it be possible that God could love me for me? I had earned everything up to this point in my life. How could God's love be any different? Even the human relationships in my life, my heart was convinced that there had to be a condition for their love for me. Through the fraternity of my brothers in the propedeutic house, formation meetings with Father Floater, counseling with Paul Ruff, and spiritual direction, I became aware of Jesus' invitation to a new and deeper life of freedom as a beloved son of God, to receive love as gift. And since then, my heart has experienced a joy and a peace that surpasses all my understanding. My heart is full of gratitude. I want to sincerely thank each and every one of you for supporting my time in seminary. It has changed my life. No matter where the Holy Spirit leads me today and in the days to come, I am excited and open for the adventure with Jesus ahead. Thank you again, and God bless.